Hi, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to match a strip deposit in QuickBooks Online bank fees. So whenever you see a strip deposit, uh, that equals invoice minus fee. So they deduct fee, and that's the deposit amount. Uh, so how to record fee, and then, you know, uh, try to match uh, the deposit in bank fees. So that's the focus of this video. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online, you know. So these are the invoices. Uh, you created invoices and you receive payment. And now we need to receive payment first. And then on bank sheet, you have these two deposits. So 194 and the other one is 437. So in this example, 194 is this, you know, this invoice, single invoice payment for this one, $200. And the other one, it's a batch uh, a deposit for, you know, 437 is for uh, uh, these two invoices, 200 and 450. So they deducted uh, uh, $13 fee. And on uh, the first one, it's $6 fee. Okay. So how to do that? It's basically first step is... Uh, uh, Receive payment on those invoices, 315 with the payment date. Okay, so go to receive payment in here. You know, it's in here, receive payment. Okay, and this one is 315 payment deposit date. And uh, instead of sending it to uh, directly to checking account, the bank account, just so send it to undeposited funds. I know it's a one step, one extra step, but uh, it's worth it in the long run. Okay, seven close. Uh, it says paid now. It doesn't sound as deposited, you know. Okay, the next step is to deposit that money. So still, you don't see. Uh, if you refresh this, you don't see a match in here. The goal here is to show match. And the bank fee, there you will ne you'll, you'll never go wrong. In your bank statement, you will only see 194 as your deposit. So we want to see match in here. Okay, so next step is click plus new and go to bank deposit. See, it's, it's still sitting in here. Select that one and make sure it's the right bank account and deposit date is accurate. In this case, it's accurate. Okay, and receive from it's the uh, it, in this case it's the what you're gonna do is two hundred dollars minus six dollars uh, fee, uh, so you want to add six dollars fee in here as a negative amount. Okay, let's say this one is the strip vendor and account is uh, merchant. Merchant fees and six dollars. If you need to calculate, all you have to do is so it's a uh, one ninety four minus two hundred, and the see the tab. Then you have six dollars, so one ninety four in here. So that that's that's the deposit amount you have. Save and close. Okay, so now if you see right here, I don't have to refresh it even. Sometimes you have to refresh this. Uh, so in here, you see the deposit in here. And it's asking, hey, is this the one you want to match? You know, so sometimes you may have more than one deposit for 194. Let's say in this case, 315, other one on 317. You know, you could have a bunch. So make sure you select the right deposit to match it. In this case, I have only one deposit. That's very easy. And just confirm it. Okay, so now once you confirm it, if you go to that invoice thing, you will see it's a uh, it's deposited now. See, from paid to deposited, so everything is done correctly in here. Okay, so the next one is uh, these two invoices, and the deposit amount is four thirty-seven, and you know they took out thirteen dollars. The bad deposit. In your case, you may have a uh, you know, 10, 20, 30, right? Okay, so receive payment. 
and in this case the repository date is 417 okay payment method with strip on deposit funds account save and close so it's paid it's not deposited do the same thing on this one this is the bad deposit one save and close okay and now the next step is uh, go to the plus new and then you want to transfer from undeposit funds to your uh, correct bank account so here's the chase checking and select these two right 450 but in the, in the bank deposit you want to see 437 so $13 is uh, is bank fee, merchant fee. In here, merchant fees. Okay, and there's the other one. Strip. Okay, so it's uh, in this case it's uh, 437, so $13 negative thirteen dollars okay so now it's 437 everything is good so you know um, on your sales sales staff everything was good to deposit everything clear now let's go to that uh, banking one so this is where you you match it see right here see for 37, 417 strip deposit, you know, same date. So if you have, as I said, if you have multiple deposit for the same amount, you may see choices here. It will say, in this case, they said just one deposit found. You may see two, three, something like that, you know. Okay, so in this case, this everything looks good. Just confirm, you can confirm it here or here. Doesn't matter, it goes the same place. So now it's done. So it's basically from here for review, it went to categorize. Now it's in register. Okay, everything was good. So that's the focus of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.